Rise of Kingdoms just revealed the skills of the new upcoming infantry garrison commander Gorgo and all of a sudden Zenobia or even Constantine is looking very interesting pair for her. Well, let us see what she is all about. Hello everyone, my name is Spilicht and welcome back to Rise of Kingdoms. Let us start with the skill review. The first skill, which is the active skill, is right off the bat we can see the rage requirement is 900. This 900 rage requirement is... It's not gonna be impactful that much. Uh, as we know, the maximum speed of rage gain is 220 rage per second. If you have 1000 rage meter, it, it is going to take you a uh, fastest 5 seconds to cast your first skill. Uh, with 900, it is also going to require you 5 seconds to cast your skill. But this 900 can only be helpful in specific situations where your garrison is not actually being swarmed, which can be a case when you are defending a pass then this reduced rage requirement of 900 will do some job for you but other than that uh, 900 is not exactly although it sounds like really nice but it it, it it's not that much in impactful continuing on the next normal attack launched by this commander troop deals smite damage and the damage factor is 2300 all right so this uh skill damage is quite on the high side uh, we are seeing smite damage again i think now we can see that where infantry is going for the next three seconds she will be gaining some buffs a uh, normal attack damage bonus 10 percent current attack damage bonus 10 percent and skill damage taken reduction by 20%. So this first skill right off the bat seems uh, extremely good skill. The damage is on the very high side. This bonus is not to normal attack damage and counter attack damage is going to help you not only boost the smite damage, but also it's going to help fight against a swarming situation. A skill damage taken is also extremely nice buff, especially today's skill damage meta. This first skill is looking very strong. Going on to the second skill, infantry units led by this commander gain 40% attack. 40. That is a chunk of a percentage of a stat. And whenever this troop launches a normal attack, it has 10% chance to increase the normal attack damage taken by the target by 30% for 3 seconds and it has 8 seconds of cooldown. Not only this uh, second skill increases the infantry attack bonus by 40% but also we have to remember that the smite damage will hit more harder. It has a chance to proc which means uh, the second skill has a chance to actually buff the first skill when she is casting her skill. All right, all right, looking great. Uh, let's go on to the third one. An uh, infantry unit led by this commander gain 30% HP while serving as a garrison commander. Whenever their troop launches a normal attack, it has 25% chance to deal additional smite damage to the target. Uh, the damage factor is 300. 30% increased HP is awesome, especially infantry in uh, today's gear infantry has a lot of defense stat on their gear but not a lot of hp stat so hp stat especially if it's 30 percent will have a lot of impact to the actual damage formula not to mention that this 25 percent chance to deal an additional smite damage 300 is not that much damage but if we take a look into the fourth skill we will understand that this damage is going to be very important as well so the fourth skill is whenever this commander troops deals smite damage okay so it's going to be the first skill and then this third skill that has a proc chance it gains 30% more attack damage bonus. Even though this has a cooldown of 5 seconds and then it procs for only 3 seconds, I can see that this skill can also affect the first skill, damage of the first skill as well. The expertise skill is if this commander's troop has less than 50 units remaining, whenever it is hit by normal attack or counter attack, has 10% chance to gain mighty shield for 3 seconds. When triggered, this skill also reduces attack up to 5 nearby enemy troops by 30% for 3 seconds. And cooldown is 5 seconds. In my eye, this expertise skill is purely designed for fighting against swarming action it says 10 percent chance to gain a mighty shield but when you are being swarmed uh, this 10 percent chance is just gonna get procced as if it's 100 percent because you are getting attacked by multiple targets so we can safely assume that this 500 damage factor shield will be up like almost 100 percent of the time Yes, uh, the duration is 3 seconds and it has 5 seconds cooldown. 
you know, it will be activated on cooldown. Also, it will decrease attack of five nearby enemies. This is just purely designed a fight against swarming action. This is what I'm thinking about Gorgo. She is OP. She is overpowered. She has a lot of protection against swarming action. In fact, I think she is going to punish people who is swarming her. Now, one downside is that she does a single target damage, but it I think it doesn't matter because all of her passives and expertise skill grants her a lot of swarm protection. Overall, she is just going to be very strong on, on Gares. There's just one thing that I'm concerned is that we don't exactly know how this smite damage actually works okay let's say if normal attack damage bonus increased by 10 percent does this mean this 2300 damage is also going to increase by 10 percent or there's uh, something else behind the damage formula we just have to wait and see other than that on paper she is looking extremely strong and now let's talk about the pairing the first one obviously goes into flavius Gorgon Flavius, I think they can work, okay, but Gorgon needs to be the primary commander. If you put Flavius as a primary, uh, Gorgon will not gonna benefit from this skill talent tree, which increases the skill damage of that uh, commanders, but Gorgon has, you know, smite damage. We can already see that uh, Flavius is not gonna be primary uh, commander if we pair Gorgon and Flavius. Other than that, if we take a look into the uh, skill set of Flavius, it, it works, it works. Uh, he offers a lot of stats, a single target damage also, counter attack damage bonus, which is great. Overall, Flavius kit works, but I think there is a better option than Flavius, which is Zenobia. I think that Zenobia and Gorgo is designed to be together, in my opinion, okay? Uh, if you take a look into Zenobia's kit, uh, okay, so she has a healing HP bonus by 40%, the expertise skill will offer up to 50%. The first skill is making the garrison very tanky. Second skill synchronizes with Gorgo so much. Uh, it reduces normal attacks and also buffs uh, normal attack damage by 15%. This is gonna help Gorgo with the smite damage. Second skill is fitting perfectly with Gorgo's kit. Third skill is also, this is 40% flat stat. Not to mention that Zenobio is offering HP stat, which is very important for infantry, and also attack bonus. This is gonna double down for Gorgo. Not only increases the normal attack, but also it, it is going to increase the smite damage again. And damage to riot army by flat 10%. Third skill is also goes well with Gorgo's kit. The expertise skill is buffing the first skill. Zenobia casts her skill, she gains 30% increased damage for 2 seconds. We can see that most likely Zenobia will be primary because of the expertise skill. And she will be buffing her damage so that Gorgo's skill can hit more harder. In my opinion, Zenobia is going to be the number one go-to pairing for Gorgo. We also need to consider Heracles, but his kit doesn't like 100% clicks with Gorgo's kit. All right, damage factor, AOE damage, which is re really nice and also mighty shield, okay. The second one is health bonus. All right, this is great. And garrison counter attack damage. This is also swarm proof uh, skill. The third skill is, this is where it just doesn't click that much because skill damage bonus by 20%. Gorgo is not going to benefit from this at all. Fourth skill is nice. Defense bonus, attack bonus, and also chance to deal direct damage to attacking troops. This is nice as well. All right, so the next pairing that I wanted to discuss is Constantine. When I saw Gorgo's kit, instantly Constantine came to my mind. I'm not saying that Gorgo and Constantine is gonna be a thing. Constantine is weaker as compared to Zenobia, but let's just take a look into Constantine's kit. They click 100% perfectly. <laughs> it, is just, it is just stupid. Like, you look at this. Okay, so the first... Skill is tanky skill, okay. A damage taken reduction and attack reduction by 40%, okay. The second skill is HP bonus, just flat 40%. This is great. The third skill is increases garrison attack bonus. So it, it is basically increasing your attack. So this is another 10% more attack stat. And the fourth skill, 
Skill damage taken while a shield is active is reduced by 40%. A Gorgol also has a chance to apply Mighty Shield. So this is another tanky factor, them synchronizing with each other. The expertise skill is 15% attack and also 5% defense. It's 20% uh, more stats. And also, look at this. Constantine's Relic buff also perfectly matches with the Gorgo skit. Infantry attack bonus by 10, 20%, normal attack damage by 5%. But I still think that, you know, Zenobia is going to be a better option here. But it is interesting to see, at the very least, that the Constantine... It sounds interesting, you know? What do you guys think? For me, Constantine sounds interesting pairing for Gorgo. To be fair... I think Zenobia is going to be the number one pair for Gorgo, Zenobia being primary. The second option could be Gorgo being primary and Flavius. And then if you just want to have fun, maybe put Gorgo and Constantine. Now let me give you my opinion on how I see Gorgo on open field. She is not going to work. She doesn't have AoE damage. She doesn't offer any stats while on the map or on open field her stats like the 30% hp only works on the uh, garrison situation and she doesn't offer any movement speed at all so she is not going to work on open field but she is going to be beast on garrison all right that was the review and my opinion on this new upcoming commander gorgo let me know what you guys think on the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day. Peace.